In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve foot pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with bottom of the foot pain, heel pain, plantar fasciitis, those type of things and need a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. All of these stretches and exercises are safe, effective, can be done at home, and may give quick foot pain relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started with it and get rid of that foot pain right now. So this video is going to be broken up into three separate parts that all work together. If you're looking to get the best results, go through all three parts, all the exercises, and use what works best for you. In the first part, we're going to do a self-massage known as muscle scraping or gua sha. We need two things. The first, a metal spoon. You want one that's nice and rounded, a little bit thicker, you'll get better results. The second, a form of lubrication. I'm going to be using coconut oil. You can use any massage lotions or over-the-counter pain creams such as Icy Hot or Biofreeze. Let's start off by just coating the complete bottom of the foot. To the sides, you can go over the ankles, calf muscles, top of the foot too if you'd like to target those areas. But this technique is very simple. You just take the spoon and you can use the top part, you can use the handle, whatever works best for you. I like to use the handle. And you're just going to start at the heel right here. Apply very, very light pressure to begin with until you find your comfort level. But we're going to take this and just scrape upwards towards the ball of the foot, towards the toes, just applying enough pressure in there to get a self-massage, but again, not causing discomfort. When you do this too, only go over soft tissue, no bony parts because that can cause irritation. But you want to do this slowly over the complete bottom of the foot. You're also going to notice that certain spots might feel gritty, almost like sandpaper. That's a spot of adhesion and we want to make note of that. Really dig in there, throw some more repetitions in to help break that up because that might be what is causing your foot pain. You might also notice that pockets of redness start to form at the surface of the skin. That is generally blood flow coming into the area to promote healing. But once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way from the toes all the way down towards the heels. You're going to notice that this hits it just a little bit differently, and it might help break up those adhesions even more. When you're done with that, go at 45 degree angles. Go in just any angle that you want. Use different parts of the spoon. Just really dig in there, explore the area, because it's just going to help break it up even more and hopefully give you more foot pain relief. If you are dealing with plantar fasciitis or maybe just a loss of the curve into the foot right here, what we can do is put the foot into different positions to help target that a little bit more. Let's start off by grabbing the foot like this and going into supination. So I'm just going to press it like this and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just dig into those areas of soft tissue and again you might find that this right here just hits that soft tissue just a little bit differently. It might give you some more relief. From there you can just put it a little bit into pronation. Do the same thing. Just dig right in there. But also take the foot and the toes and just pull backwards. And this right here is really going to open up the bottom of the foot and might help with plantar fasciitis. Again, just slow strokes only to your comfort level. Stay off the bone and I hope that this gives you very quick, instant pain relief into the foot. A major cause of foot pain is because everything just gets tight, locked up, and achy. So here is a great stretching exercise that you can do to fix that. Let's take one hand, cup right around the ankle. The other hand is going to make a cup also. We're going to be using the meaty portion of the palm right here for this exercise. Let's cup on the outside of the foot and apply pressure right there right below our big toe. We're going to focus on what are known as metatarsals. So I'm kind of pressing right into the ball of the foot right here. Let's press from the bottom towards the top of the foot as much as we can. Build some pressure in there until you feel that bone start to move, only to your comfort level. Once we get to that point, hold this for about five seconds. You're just going to relax and then throw in a couple more repetitions. From there, just move down slightly and repeat. When you do this, you want to go over the complete arch of the foot. Go from the top all the way down to the heel. And if you do notice that one spot is a little bit more achy or just locked up, throw some more repetitions in there to help release it. Once you've done that, let's move over to the next toe and then just simply repeat. 
When you do this too, you might find that you get a sudden pop, crack, or self-release. That is completely normal. You're just building motion into those joints that might release gas, resulting in that knuckle crack audible. So you're going to go over all of the toes until you get to the pinky toe and then repeat. So what we're going to do from there is switch hands, cup the ankle, but we're going to cup it and then press from the top part of the foot downwards to just hit it at a different angle. Again, using this portion of the palm. And I'm just going to repeat that same thing that we just did with the bottom of the foot. Five second holds up to three times, go over different spots and repeat as needed over achy ones that need just a little bit more attention. Let's say that you have a lot going on on the bottom of the foot right here. You might actually have a drop metatarsal. So this is how we're going to tackle that. Let's take our hands right here and then put them on the top part of the foot for stabilization. Take our thumbs and then start at that point we did earlier, right? Go from the big toe, go right into the ball of the foot, and press into it with our thumbs. You're going to notice that this becomes a little bit more pinpoint. It's going to cause a little bit more motion into that metatarsal. You can just go over spots that you feel are very achy, pressing into it, holding for five seconds, and then relaxing and repeating as needed. But you can do this over any spot that you feel just needs a little bit more attention. And again, you might get that sudden pop, crack, or release. If you do have a lot going on to the uh, top part of the foot, what we can do is pretty much the same technique, just switch it around. What In this case, what I'm going to do is take my uh, fingers right here and then curl them downwards while I stabilize with my thumb on the bottom of the foot. So let's say that I have a lot going on right here. I'm just going to go over that spot, that metatarsal, with my fingers and then stabilize on the bottom of the foot right here. So the movement is I'm stabilizing and then pressing into it just like this. Hold for five seconds, relax, repeat up to three times, and then just go over different spots as needed. Another great way to target the bottom of the foot, uh, especially with plantar fasciitis, is to do a toe spreader. So I take my fingers, put them in between my toes like this, stabilize at the bottom of the heel. I'm just going to use this like a lever. I'm going to pull back as much as I can on the foot. This is going to stretch the bottom of the foot. It's a wonderful stretch. Only go to your comfort level. Once you hit that point, hold this for 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then you're going to repeat this three to five times. You can also go in different angles. Bring the foot down like this. Do a circular motion with it. Really explore the area and go with the one that you feel stretches that uh, the bottom of the foot out even more to get more pain relief. So without a doubt, if we're looking to get rid of foot pain for good, we have to strengthen everything. Here is a wonderful strengthening exercise that you can do that's going to put the foot into so many different motions and really be able to pinpoint weaknesses very quickly. It's known as a foot opener. It's very easy. What I'm going to do is balance on one foot. So I'm going to start off on my right. And then if you are having difficulty balancing, you can use a wall or a chair in front of you for extra stability. But the movement is very simple. I'm just going to pivot a little bit forward from my hips right here at the pelvis and then I'm just going to turn a little bit outwards. So on my right foot I'm turning towards my right. This is going to cause the foot to go into supination. Go as far as you feel comfortable to where you're also going to be able to balance. You want to hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. From there go back to the center and then go inward with it. This will cause the foot to go into pronation. Again up to a 15 second hold and then go back to the starting point and then just simply repeat. If you are having a collapsed arch, you're going to want to focus a little bit more on that supinated position to help with just rebuilding a little bit more into that arch. But you can also go into movements that you feel are weak. Like let's say that I'm having a lot of difficulty going inwards right here. It just doesn't feel as strong. I want to really build into that more and more with more repetitions to help strengthen that movement to help improve it and also build more balance. But once you're done on one side, always make sure to go towards the other to keep them both in balance. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.